The Shelley Doug Sandoval Duggs County is now the 13th county in our state to become a Second Amendment sanctuary county. And many of you who live here had a lot to say when it comes to the gun control bills making their way through our state legislature. It's standing room only inside tonight's Sandoval County Commission meeting. As many of you make sure everyone knows where you stand when it comes to gun control bills at the Roundhouse. These new laws are trying to limit access to crazies who shouldn't have them in the first place. This should be a no brainer. I have a family to protect and there's always the unknown that's going to come at you. You never know when, you never know why. And it was back and forth on whether or not county commissioners should pass a resolution making Sandoval County a Second Amendment sanctuary county, meaning sheriff's deputies won't enforce those new laws if they make it through. Some in favor of the move. Too many people now are just watching out for themselves, but we have neighbors that need help. We have older people that need help. Our entire constitution, it's at risk right now. It's being, being chipped away little by little. But just as many are not, claiming the sheriff is not allowed to pick and choose what laws he wants to enforce. I support the Second Amendment, but I'm not sure why you think sanctuary is necessary as nobody's attacking New Mexicans' right to keep and bear arms for their protection. Since state laws take precedence over county ordinances and resolutions, isn't this commission overstepping its bounds? In the end, the commission voted four to one in favor of the resolution. Now, Grant County also passed a similar resolution earlier today. Nearly 20 other counties have similar resolutions on their agendas, but there are three counties that have not come up with a resolution on their own. They are Bernalillo, Santa Fe, and Doniana. Live in Sandoval County, I'm Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News. One of the bills at the Roundhouse wants to expand background checks on gun sales. Another one is calling for background checks at gun shows, and a third would prevent those convicted of domestic violence from having a gun.